Hi there, I'm Mark Simon, and I'm the director of the Peculiar Adventures of Willoughby Star. Look, I've always loved Ariane and Andy's writing, but this piece was pretty different. I mean, look, it had a really distinctive point of view and a great sense of humor, but I think there may be something wrong with them, but I loved it anyway. However, I wasn't sure at first how I'd replicate the tone and the look of the trailer they produced before I came on. I mean, it was completely different than anything I had ever done before. So I really sat down and studied the trailer and the scripts. Then I studied the shows and movies that inspired the feel of the series. Things like Grand Budapest Hotel and High Anxiety and, and David Lynch's Twin Peaks. And like I've mentioned before, those may sound like really weird inspirations for a kid's show. And they are. But by studying all that, I was able to kind of get into Ariane and Andy's head, and I was able to start seeing the show in my head. So then, my next step was to create a list of production guidelines to help me and the rest of the crew maintain a consistent look and feel through the entire production. And probably the biggest challenge was how to replicate the look of the backgrounds which had been created for the trailer. Now, when they produced the original short, they used one artist who had little experience in the industry, so he wasn't distracted by little things like how we normally do things in the industry. And that's one of the reasons it looks so different. But he was only one person, and we need a large crew for a full show. So the challenge was, how are we going to get a large international crew to replicate the look created by one person? Now, I didn't want to fix what he had done. I thought it was cool, really different. I wanted to use it to make this show have a different look. Well, plus, we need to create the backgrounds in a different way to make sure we got through production on schedule. See, the trailer just had a few backgrounds. But in the series, well, we had a lot. And look, I wanted the limited cutout style animation to be more filmic in the angles. So we had a lot of extra shots and angles of every background than the trailer had, and really more than any other type of uh, cutout animation has ever done. So that meant a lot of angles of the same backgrounds. So we decided to create the backgrounds in 3D so we could quickly look around and grab the angles that we needed. But the problem was in 3D, we lost the uniqueness of the designs. So I had to sit and reverse engineer all the original designs and figure out how to make it work and replicate it on a big scale. So there were five different elements, design elements, that were specific to the look we wanted. There was lighting, texture, shadows, perspective, and scale. And we had to trick the 3D sets into looking flat. So we created the sets in 3D, but with no lighting or textures. And in 3D, we also went in, we changed the scale of various elements so that they didn't look perfect. For instance, in the salon, you know, there's a whole line of chairs. Well, we scaled all the chairs slightly different. That helps make it look a little more hand done. We put things off at different angles. We played around with it. Even, even walls, some walls are taller than others. Then we added the textures in Photoshop, but we made sure that all the textures were flat and not in perspective. For instance, if you're looking down a road, the texture of the road is flat and just pasted on. It doesn't go back in perspective. And then the exports, we didn't want any lighting or shadows. See, one of the things that makes this different is only the characters cast shadows. None of the props or dressing, no trees, cars, or anything else. So once we had the look and everything was textured, then we would light the scene in Photoshop with flat radial lighting just over the main area where the characters are going to be. Now all of this gave us a really quick way to replicate the original look for an entire crew to follow. It wasn't easy. It took a lot of back and forth. But once we got it, we were able to replicate it and move quickly, which was hugely important on the schedule. Now, people are going to either love this or they're going to think I lost my mind. Either way, I'll be happy because if they love it, I'll love it. And if I lost my mind, I'm not going to know what anyone's thinking, so I won't know if it's bad anyway. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to all of you watching it. And if you have half as much fun watching as we had making it, it's going to be a hit.